So you're thinking about buying a home in Morristown, Tennessee, but you wanna know what the city's like, what the community's like, and if it would be a good fit for you and your family. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you around Morristown, starting out here at the lake. So this is one of the, you know, one of the great things about East Tennessee. We got a bunch of lakes here. And so, you know, this lake, Cherokee Lake, is just about 10 minutes outside of downtown Morristown. But, you know, I'm gonna show you the lake here. I'm gonna show you downtown, show you the shopping areas, show you in a few of the neighborhoods, just so you can get a feel for what Morristown is really like. But, you know, starting out here, this lake, Cherokee Lake, is, you know, obviously a fairly large lake. It has, um, you know, right now it's winter. So I'm kind of walking along the shoreline and it has about, I think it's about 25 feet that it goes down in the winter from full pool in the summer. So, you know, right now it's about halfway up. It's uh, middle of April right now. So they brought it about halfway back up, but you can see even with the water down, it's a nice large lake. So there are, you know, several cities with lakes around them in East Tennessee and Morristown is just one of them. But one of the things that, you know, kind of stands out to me a little bit about Morristown and Cherokee Lake in particular, when you compare it to some of the, the lakes around some of the larger metros like uh, Knoxville, Nashville, is this one is a little bit more affordable. If you want to live on the lake or, you know, get that lake view, you can get that here for, you know, a little bit more of an affordable price than those larger metros. You know, the, the Morristown Metro, about 140,000 in population. So, you know, compare that to almost a million in, in Knoxville, which is just about an hour away. But, you know, this is Cherokee Lake. So, you know, right here, beautiful setting, you know, looking out over the lake, out over the, the small mountains out there in the distance and everything. So, you know, really pretty. And, you know, what you can, kind of expect from the view during the winter. You know, if you were to, to buy a home on the lake, you know, as the water comes down, it gets the kind of the, the dirt shoreline showing. And so that's kind of the view you're gonna have across the lake in the winter time. You know, I'm right, there are several marinas really close by. I'm right next to one of them right now. So, you know, if you didn't live on the lake, you could still keep your boat close by there there's plenty of plenty of marinas to to keep your boat at but um, you know this is Cherokee Lake and again just about 10 minutes outside of um, downtown Morristown so this is Bridgewater Point this is one of the new communities in Morristown it's right next to the lake actually just just down the lake from where I just was but you can get homes in here starting in the 300 thousands uh, starting around 1500 square feet three bedroom but you know, this is just kind of the look and the feel of the community. And it has, you know, this, this view out over the lake, which is really pretty. There's several lake homes and still some lake lots down there at the bottom. Of course, those homes are gonna be quite a bit more, you know, a million dollars. There is actually one on the lake right now listed for just under 600,000, but there's also a bunch of lots left in here. So, you know, you, there are some homes for sale. You can buy a home in here, but there are also a bunch of lots. I mean, you can see out here behind me, all these lots and a lot of these are going to be in the 70,000 range so you can buy one of those and then have a home built on it for an example of something that's a little bit more established this is Lockmere and it's got a little bit more of a upscale feel to it as well but the homes in here are still just going to be in the 300 400 500 thousand dollar range um, you know 2,000 square feet to, to around 3,000 square feet and you know so same price range but nice upscale feel with all brick homes, you know, pretty setting again. Um, it's called Lockmere. It's got tennis court, a pool, and a nice walking trail around a little lake at the bottom. So, you know, this is just, you know, another example of what you can get here in Morristown. By the way, if this is your first time on this channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Tennessee, tap that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. You'll be the first to learn about the market here in Tennessee. You know, my name is Forrest McCullough. I'm a real estate agent here in Tennessee, and me and the team get calls every day from people just like you looking to buy or sell a home in Tennessee, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're thinking about making a move next week or next year, feel free to shoot us a text, give us a call, send us an email, and we'd be happy to help you out. You know, we travel around to different communities in Tennessee to help you see what they look and feel like. We'd be happy to help you make a move. 
All our contact information is in the description below. If you're somebody that likes the downtown scene, Morristown actually has a pretty cool downtown and something that's really unique. It has sort of this double level downtown where it has these walkways that go along. And so you have shops on the bottom level and the top level. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's, it's mostly just this one street that runs through here. So it's not huge. You know, Morristown has a population of just over 30,000. So a pretty small town. The entire Morristown Metro is only a population of about 140,000. So, you know, it's a, a, a pretty small area. So for this size area, it's a really a pretty cool downtown, you know, these historic buildings that were, you know, originally here. So they have all that you know, historic charm, but you know, you've got your restaurants and coffee shops and a bunch of boutique shops along through here. So it's really a pretty cool area. You know, if you like that small town, downtown, pretty cool area to come. And, you know, most of the, you know, you look down here along the street level, most of these shops along through here are going to be, or most of these storefronts I say, should say are going to be occupied, you know, with different shops and restaurants and things like that. You know, unfortunately, a lot of the ones on this upper level are not occupied and, you know, it'd be nice to see some more businesses come in here and just really fill it up. But it does have a cool feel. It's pretty busy down here right now. I mean, it's only 3.30 in the afternoon on uh, Wednesday. And so it's not, not like it's a weekend or anything. And it's still pretty busy with people just walking along and you know, going in, in and out of the stores and everything like that. So, you know, if you want that, that downtown feel, you know, you can definitely get it here in Morristown. It's honestly compared to other cities, the size of Morristown, you know, you look at some other towns that have similar populations and Morristown has much more of a downtown than a lot of those. So, uh, you know, this is the, this is the downtown area. There is, you know, a little bit more to it other than just this this one street, but this is where you're really gonna find uh, most of it right along Main Street here. If you're wondering if Morristown has any golf courses, the answer is yes, it has one single golf course. It's simply known as the Country Club. So it is a private course as part of the Country Club here. There is another uh, actually small nine hole par three course, but as far as full 18 hole courses, this is the only one. So known as just the country club, it is a full service country club. So it has the other amenities like the rec center and the pool, as well as tennis courts, and then a driving range. And then of course the 18 hole golf course, but really for all of the area, this is the only golf course. You can't even really get outside of Morristown and find another one. You're gonna be, you're gonna be driving quite a ways. So, you know, if you're a big golfer, there are a lot of other small towns where you can find much more as far as golf goes than this. So as far as the shopping goes in Morristown, there is only one indoor shopping mall. And this is kind of where most of the shopping is concentrated. There's a few other stores just uh, around, you know, along the main road, but you know, most of it is going to be, or a lot of it's going to be right here. There's really no other large uh, outdoor shopping mall or anything like that. So this is kind of the, the biggest shopping area. And it's just, you know, your typical indoor mall on the outside. You can see several things along through here. I mean, you got Dick's Sporting Goods, Five Below. It's called College Square, by the way. So this is the main entrance. And then your Kohl's department store. There's also a Belk down here at the end. And then all your other stores that, you know, you kind of expect in an indoor shopping mall. So there's, there's a, a bunch in there. There's also an AMC movie theater. So, you know, the shopping overall in Morristown is not great, but pretty much everything you need, you're going to be able to find here. There's no Costco, there's no Sam's Club. So the closest Costco, you're going to be going to West Knoxville. Sam's Club, you're going to be going to Knoxville as well. And that's going to be about an hour away, maybe a little bit more, depending on where you live in Morristown. There's actually not even a Target in Morristown, surprisingly enough. It's, it's surprising to me, but there's not even a Target here. So the closest target is an hour away in Knoxville. There's also one in Kingsport, but that's about an hour away as well. So, you know, pretty much what you need, you're gonna be able to find here, grocery stores and, you know, sporting goods stores and there's Walmart and all that. But really for a lot of stuff, you're gonna to have to go 
to West Knoxville, which is going to be about an hour away. Morristown also has several nice parks and greenways like the one I'm on right now. And, you know, so there's also, check this one out, across the street here is essentially just this huge playground for kids, which is pretty cool. And I mean, there's literally like 100 people over there right now. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of parks and greenways, which is nice. So, you know, it, just to kind of sum up Morristown, you know, it has some, some nice neighborhoods. It's got Cherokee Lake there. You're gonna be really close by to Cherokee Lake no matter where you are. It's got the golf course, and then it's got the nice little downtown area. So there's really, you know, there's not a ton of shopping, but you saw really everything that you're gonna need on a weekly basis. You're gonna be able to, to get here. So if you wanna to go to Knoxville for more shopping, you can, but really everything that you're gonna need is gonna be right here. So, you know, if you're thinking about buying a home here, and you want a real estate team that's gonna have your back, feel free to shoot us a text, give us a call, and we would be happy to help you out. If you're thinking maybe another area in Tennessee would be better for you, be happy to help you find the right area in Tennessee to call home. So feel free to reach out to us. We'd be happy to talk to you about that and help you out with that. But other than that, I will see you on the next video.